I would like to introduce you to Mr. Shankar Ramamurthy, founder and CEO of Energy Harbors Corporation, USA. Mr. Shankar Ramamurthy, an alumnus of Indian Institute of Technology, Mumbai, and Indian Institute of Management, Bangalore, is from San Francisco Bay, California, USA. Mr. Ramamurthy has founded several startups anchored in innovative technology-driven solutions in real-world problems. Some of these companies have acquired major international technology corporations. In this interview, I, G.V. Aarti, a student of School of Business Management, Waxon University, try to understand the mind of a technology entrepreneur, his motivations driving his efforts, challenges, setbacks, and many other recommendations approaching to his creating a startup and what it takes to be a successful technology entrepreneur. Right from the beginning of your career, you have been a very successful person, passing out from IIT, IIM, it should have been given you a lot of options in your career. Like you should have gone into any corporate. It should have been very easy for you. But you took the rough path. You just chose the rougher path. You just made things quite tough for you. But you, you're in a very fruitful position right now. But can you just tell us why you should choose the rougher path than just going and working for a corporate and just being and working for them? How hard has it been for you? Well, uh, to tell you the truth, uh... I, I was in corporate India for the first uh, 10 years or so. So okay. I, after about, I am, I went on, did my management consulting with a company then called SB Billy Warrior, now which is known as Deloitte. Okay. And then I went on to okay. a company called NIIT. And mm -hmm. then I was heading strategy for Wipro. So okay. uh, I was in corporate India. Uh, so okay. they were very good companies, all of them that I worked for, great companies, uh, yeah. taught me a lot. Uh, but one of the things that uh, uh, you realize uh, is, uh, it, and it all depends upon each person, uh, the first few years are exciting because you're learning a lot. And then it, yeah. it kind of uh, becomes harder to uh, show up every day for work because it's all the same. So. When you're younger, it's harder. In our days, we didn't have role models or even the kind of awareness that we are exposed to these days. Believe me, it's, you know, 100 times more than what we used to have. So mm -hmm. we had no role models. Uh, and uh, we were trying to, we didn't have a way to figure out what it is that we, we should be or what what is it that is really bothering us. Why is this deep dissatisfaction that you have so soon after you get into a new job. And um, it takes a while for you to figure out. It is both age, exposure, understanding, things that you gather, right? And it is, it is really the, you know, you, you're trying to build a vision for your a vision for life, right? And it's not yeah. as if you're going to invent it. It is something that you have to discover, right? I mean, you can't invent a vision. Definitely. And that's, that, that is something that people would call as self-awareness, but it's really figuring out what is the vision for your life. And you realize that you want to create and create something big. There is this creative instinct. That is, you want to do, uh, <clears throat> you want to make a big difference. So the first few years you're learning in, in corporate India and, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. But when you come to that realization, you, you realize that the, limitations that a corporate uh, <coughs> uh, bureaucracy rules, I mean, they're all good, but it, yeah. it limits you because it is uh, a corporate system by definition is requiring you to commit yourself to do what the corporate system needs you to do, which yeah. is a good thing because the economy would not function if it were not the case, right? And so that uh, that is, uh, so it is that realization that leads you to choose this. So, it is almost a point that you reach in life that if you did not do this, uh, you, you just would not survive in corporate India. So you are trying to develop a vision. It takes time uh, and it is not easy. It is, you know, it, you, you try a number of things, but if you want it uh, hard enough, you you do what it takes. So I think it is, uh, it is the vision that you uh, want to do something with... Uh, something that can make a big difference, something that is based on technology, that kind of drives you. Uh, and Good. that allows you that allows you to, you know, uh, go through the tough paths and, uh, uh, you know, take whatever um, uh, hits that you have, uh, the failures that you have uh, uh, in your stride. Great. 
So, sir, actually, before you chose this, when you're stepping out of the corporate world, you should have known how far this is. This is a very big step for you to take to start in a new business, to just come up with new companies, come up with new ideas. Everybody comes up through some some sort of setbacks. There are always some risks that you're supposed to take. So, how 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 was that journey for you? How after coming out of the corporate, how did actually everything treat you? How well were you? Well, uh, uh, first of all, when you are trying to do, uh, trying to set up a business, this is especially true in the 90s when uh, an entrepreneurial career was not uh, something that was accepted in uh, 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 as the norm, right? And it is, uh, you know, by your family, by your friends, you're doing something very abnormal. These days, of course, it's very different. Uh, so when, when you're doing... Um, uh, developing these ideas, you're pretty much on your own. So the most important thing is to assemble a group of, you know, uh, co-founders who are uh, <clears throat> similarly inclined, uh, have the same inclinations, have the same kind of goals. And, and this is easier said than done. This is the single largest cause of failures of companies, both not to find co-founders, not to, you know, work with co-founders, and second, working with the wrong for co-founders. So this itself is a journey, and you have many heartaches and failures and problems and challenges, sometimes caused because of this. You can't be a founder on your own because you cannot take on the world on your own. So you have to get people with complementary skills, uh, and uh, that that I think is uh, the first part of your journey. Uh, the second yeah. part of your journey is figuring out what you want. Of course, that is also the access around you. Try to you know you're trying to get people together. So uh, something that, uh, you know, uh, works at least for me, and I think it should work for most people. I have not yet tested this. It is an idea that you are able to inspire others with, okay? And the ability to inspire idea people with a common set of ideas of what it is that we can do and what it is that we together can achieve and how each one sees themselves in making that idea happen, all those things are critical in forming the co-founding group. Uh, and, uh, you know, it is this, this journey that uh, finding a co-founding group, getting the right idea, you don't get the right idea, you know, initially. The idea that you started off with and the idea that you ended up implementing yeah. is so vastly different. Uh, so you have to be willing to do... Uh, uh, keep on experimenting. It is not one, five, ten, hundred times. It is a thousand times. So when you started out on a journey, you think everything will happen in two years or three years. No, it doesn't. Uh, the big uh, stories that we hear about uh, Google success or Apple success or whatever, it's great. It's very important because that is the ultimate definition of what you know you one can be, right? But uh, only one in thousand, one in ten thousand, probably one in hundred thousand people actually achieve that level of uh, uh, that level of uh, rapid success, right? So, in in general, for most people, it takes about five to ten years to actually get into a, a steady stage. So, first of all, it is not it's not something that happens quick, um, and it it takes a multiple number of steps. You are discovering your ideas, you are practicing it, you are trying it out, you are evolving it, and you're you're testing it out. Um, so that that is a journey. So putting all these things together, it is it takes uh, a lot of effort. It takes a lot of tenacity. Uh, you have uh, failures every day. You have failures for various reasons, and and you learn learn from them. 